Well, and welcome back to Less Tax to Pay. And today we've got a new video on zero. The topic we're covering today is how to use classes. Now, QuickBooks use the word classes. Now, this is for if you have a business that has multiple different arms, you want to track the profitability of each individual arm, or it might have different locations, whatever it may be. If you just want to have that real detailed report in mind, and it will be bundled into one figure, or you can separate out that one side of the business is doing this, one side of the business is doing that. So this will give you the opportunity to have a look at those numbers so you can see where you need to possibly improve or become more efficient in different areas. So what we'll do is we're in zero at the moment, as you can see but before i get into the video like i always say drop a like if you like the video hit a comment if you have a comment about the video or any other previous videos that we've done i encourage you to ask questions i had a lovely question the other day from someone on quickbooks and amazon which i hope my reply helped them and also hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification we're doing videos very regularly we're going to bring bringing out a receipt bank series so an automation tool series and also a excel series as well it's going to be coming very soon so keep your eyes peeled for those so let's get into the video so as you can see we're on our dashboard at the moment as we enter zero now firstly we need to go and go to the place to set these categories up so if we go to accounting then advance and you see tracking categories just here if you click on that now this is already set up but if you wanted to set up a new one you can call it whatever you want um, parts of business and for instance you could call it advertising seo mentoring whatever it may be okay so you've got different categories here now so you've got top region and types of business but we're going to stick on region just because that's already in there and there's some there's some items in there so what we now need to do is we need to create some expenses and some sales so we can show so let me just quick, quickly create a, a sales invoice for you abc discussion today's date that's fine da, 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 da. Uh, five days labor Quantity five 200 pound a day account is sales but that's fine yeah keep it that inclusive now this is where you select the region okay and you can see here it's also put in the type of business as well now if you have here the regions which is what we're going to stick with today but for you it's going to be whatever category you put in and you need to add a new category it gives you a very very quick option to add a new tracking option but today we're going to put it into west coast okay and if i approve that i'm also going to do an expense so i'll just quickly do an expense for you uh. Today's day, advertising one, 500 pound, advertising and marketing, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and I'm going to put that to West Coast as well. Okay, so if I now approve these, so I've now got a sale and an expense that I've, both, I've assigned to West Coast as the region. You can see also once you've approved them on here that you do see it there. And you can see also the, the other category that we set up as well. So now let's go into the reporting where you'd see where this becomes very, very advantageous for you. So if we go to accounting and report, now a very, very quick report that we could do is a profit and loss. Now the profit and loss new is not great at picking up the categories. But if I go to the old profit and loss that they have, which is down the bottom here, okay. Now I can show the date range. If I do the 1st of July to the 31st, that's fine. But if I click more options, it goes right, sort by account name, do not filter, do not filter by the two different category tracking filters and the currency. But I want to filter and put all regions. Okay. Now this will show me what we've done inside this month for the business. Now as you can see, we've got West Coast has got £833.33 worth of sales and Unassigned has got £200, so the total is 1033 now if I click on that 833, that will be my invoice, which was a thousand pound inclusive of VAT. But also if I then go back, you can see here it's done the expenditure of 500 pounds, which again is my expenditure for advertising. So what you'll be able to see by the column is how much profit in a month that particular region has made or that particular part of the business has made. You can also see here on the unassigned that it's made an 800 pound loss 
and then if we go to the total column it just basically adds them together and works out what the total is so for this period the, the company has made a 466 pound loss and the main reason for that is the unassigned made an 800 pound loss compared to the 333 pound profit that west coast made so now you can see and you can run these reports so if i go back and say i want to run it for a quarter so if i go to may so i go first of may to the 31st of july right i'll run it for a quarter now we've got east side north south west coast unassigned so you can see here very quickly that we've got a lot of sales invoices in here we've got 20 grand's worth for the month uh, for the quarter we've got some cost of sales here which shows the profit and then we've got the expenses that are attributed to each category and we can see what each category has done with reference to profit and we can see what the overall profit in the total column as simple as that and you can run these reports you can run them for different periods so you can run different report as you need to and you can see where the business is going so that's it for today it was a very very quick video into how to categorize your business if you have multiple different arms and you want to see where where everything is going uh, i know with reference to this particular time in in the year after everything that's happened that people want to be very very strict on how their businesses are running uh, they don't want to be having businesses that are making a loss which is going to be dragging them down because it's going to be very much about businesses that are doing well and con possibly concentrate on those for a period of time rather than having a, a mixture of items that you um, arms that you do so that's like i said that's it for today as i said at the start if you like the video drop a like please drop me a comment if you have a question and i'll answer it to the best of my capabilities hopefully help you m move you in the right direction and also subscribe and hit that bell notification but until next time stay safe